Remember when Google Glass made you look like a cyborg and freaked out everyone at brunch? Well, Google just hit the reset button, hard. At TED 2025, they quietly pulled back the curtain on a brand new pair of AR glasses that look like regular specs but pack the brain power of Gemini AI. Real-time subtitles appear in front of your eyes, it remembers where you left your wallet, and it pulls visual search results straight onto the lens, all while the heavy processing stays tucked away in your phone. No bulky camera, no creepy blinking lights, just a featherlight waveguide display that whispers information exactly when you need it. And this time, Google isn't chasing sci-fi flash. They're laser-focused on useful beating Apple's flashy Vision Pro at everyday practicality and out-contexting Meta's Ray-Ban collab. Subtle, assistive, brilliantly human, that's the promise. 100% of you watching, drop a comment below. Which AR glasses impressed you the most? Google's subtle genius or Apple's high-tech spectacle? We're reading every single reply. Remember Google Glass? That futuristic but awkward-looking gadget from 2013 that made people feel like they were being recorded at all times? It flopped. Badly. But now, over a decade later, Google is making a quiet comeback. And this time, they might have actually nailed it. At TED 2025, Google unveiled a prototype of its next-gen AR smart glasses. They didn't call it Google Glass 2.0, probably to avoid the baggage. But make no mistake, this new version is smarter, sleeker, and way more practical than anything they've released before. What makes them special? First, they look just like regular glasses. That's already a huge upgrade. No weird camera sticking out. No tech bro energy. Just clean, minimal design meant to blend in, not stand out. But here's where it gets wild. They're powered by Gemini AI, giving you real-time translation, visual search, and even memory assistance, all without touching your phone. One demo showed someone speaking Farsi and live subtitles appeared right on the lens. You don't even need to fumble with your phone or open Google Translate. There's also a memory feature that helps you remember where you left things or what someone told you earlier in the day. It's like your brain, but run by Google's trillion dollar cloud. What's even better is how it works. Unlike the old model that crammed a computer into the frame, this one offloads processing to your phone, keeping the glasses light. They use a full color diffractive waveguide built into the right lens, a transparent screen that overlays helpful visuals without making you feel like Iron Man. And best of all, no creepy camera, no blinking lights, and no live streaming vibes. Google finally seems to understand what people want, helpful tech that disappears when you don't need it. To really understand how bold Google's new move is, we have to look at who they're up against because the AR space in 2025 is crowded and the heavyweights have already stepped into the ring. First up, Apple's Vision Pro. It's not just glasses, it's a full-on headset that feels more like something designed by NASA's marketing team. It's powerful, packed with features like eye tracking, hand tracking, spatial computing, and ultra-high resolution displays. But it's also bulky, expensive, $3,500, and not meant for everyday life. You won't wear this thing on a bus or in a grocery store. Apple's Vision Pro wants to replace your laptop. Google's glasses just want to help you find your airport gate. Then there's Meta, who shifted focus after burning billions on the metaverse. Their Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses, made with Luxottica, are stylish and lightweight. You can take photos and talk to Meta's AI assistant. But while they look cool, they don't offer real visual overlays or intelligent on-screen interaction like Google's AR layer does. Meta offers voice plus camera. Google offers contextual, visual intelligence. And what about the others? Snap's spectacles are flashy but limited. Magic Leap had huge promise but never quite made it past the dev crowd due to price and complexity. Here's the shift. Companies are no longer chasing flashy tech. They're asking, how can we make this genuinely useful and socially acceptable? And that's exactly the lane Google is in now. Subtle, smart, assistive AR that fits into daily life. While Google's new AR glasses prototype is exciting, you don't actually have to wait for the future to try next-gen smart eyewear. 
There are already some seriously impressive AR glasses available today, and they're finally starting to live up to the promise we've been hearing about for years. Let's start with the X Real Air 2 Pro. These are some of the most polished AR display glasses on the market. They project a floating 130-inch virtual screen in front of your eyes, perfect for watching movies, gaming, or even working on the go. And it's not just flashy display tech. X-Real added dimming features to reduce glare and eye strain, making long viewing sessions much more comfortable. If you've ever wanted a private IMAX theater that fits in your pocket, this might be it. For gamers, Lenovo's Legion Glasses Gen 2 are a game changer, literally. These were designed specifically for portable, high-performance gaming. They plug into your laptop, smartphone, or even a Nintendo Switch and deliver a 120 Hertz virtual screen, built-in speakers, and a surprisingly good microphone setup. Imagine taking a long flight and turning your seat into a full gaming rig without disturbing anyone around you. But that's not all. The XR1, Rio Air 3s, and Vacher Pro XR glasses, each with their own unique approach to AR. Some focus more on media consumption, others lean into productivity or head-up display features. The key theme? AR glasses are evolving fast, and they're no longer just experimental gadgets. They're real products people are actually using, and that's what makes this moment so exciting. We're seeing a shift from bulky niche devices to sleek, purpose-built eyewear that's finally delivering on the original AR vision. Useful, wearable, and socially acceptable tech that blends into daily life. Whether it's watching content in private, enhancing your gaming setup, or having smart information appear just when you need it, AR glasses in 2025 are more capable than ever, and Google's prototype is only going to push this wave even further. So while we wait to see if Google's new glasses will dominate the space, the truth is clear. The AR revolution has already started. So whether you're excited by Google's clean, assistive vision for AR, intrigued by Apple's powerhouse Vision Pro, or already impressed by what Xreal, Lenovo, and others have on the market, one thing is clear. We're officially living in the age of smart glasses. This isn't just a tech trend. It's the beginning of a shift in how we see, interact with, and move through the world. From real-time translation and floating screens to hands-free memory recall and gaming on the go, AR glasses are becoming as essential as smartphones once were. Google's new approach stands out because it doesn't try to wow with spectacle. It tries to disappear. And maybe that's the version of AR that finally sticks. Now, the big question is, which of these would you actually wear in public? 100% of you watching Drop your answer in the comments. Google's AI-powered glasses, Apple's Vision Pro, Meta's Ray-Bans, or something else entirely. We're reading every reply. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We've got more game-changing tech breakdowns coming soon. See you in the next one.